Well, it's March 17th, 2024, and uh, happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. And I'm uh, out for a few days, so beautiful day. It is, uh, it got up to 17 or 18 degrees Celsius today. And also yesterday, I think it was 19 degrees Celsius. So pretty uh, hot weather for March on Canada's west coast. And I just came down to uh, Montague Marine Park on Galliano Island. I've been here a bunch of times and there's uh, land-based camping and there's also a mooring field and I think if memory serves me correctly um, maybe about 30 or 35 moorings. There's a fun little trail on uh, Gra uh, Grace Peninsula I think it's called which is part of the, the park. So I just grabbed a mooring. There's about one, two, three, four, maybe four or five of other boats on moorings here. I can't remember the mileage off the top of my head, but I think it's around 20 or 21 nautical miles from uh, Ladysmith to here. Anyway, super popular spot. In the summertime, it's much like Princess Cove, where I was the last two videos. And... Uh, pretty busy in the summer like to get a mooring here you have to uh, pretty much wait for someone to leave and there is a dock here um, which and I think they only allow boats up to 36 feet on the dock and of course you can bring your dinghy there and tie up and then get all the shore access from there so with the end of the day almost I'm just gonna probably make some dinner and uh, see what I get up to tomorrow Good morning from Montague Harbor. It was a super calm night and pretty quiet around here right now. It's a little cool in the morning, but it's supposed to be a really nice hot day. So I uh, look forward to it warming up. Still pretty early. It's about nine o'clock, I guess, in the morning. And I just had some garbage to run up to the uh, a little garbage bin up here, and I thought I'd just walk around while it's still uh, nice and early. I can't imagine there's many people uh, camping here right now, but uh, it's good enough weather for it for sure. And still early in the season, it's March 18th, so still uh, early for cruising and camping, but you wouldn't know it with the weather today. And uh, yeah, I'll go back to the boat after, have some breakfast, and see what I get up to today.
Well, I think I've done my walk around and I'll head back to the boat. It's a really nice park here. I definitely recommend coming to Montague Marine Park or uh, land-based park. It's a provincial campground. And I noticed that uh, it seems like all the campsites have a tent pad uh, for level, comfortable tenting and a picnic table on a cement slab and a fire pit. And I noticed that the picnic tables have a cash box for your, or food cash box for your uh, food that you can lock in there. Uh, I think there's a lot of raccoons on this island, so <laughs> there's probably a lot of theft happening at night <laughs> for food anyways. So that's nice to see. I've never noticed that before. I'm going to check out uh, what our solar panels have harvested so far. I'm not sure if I've told you guys about the panels, but we've got three 100 watt panels on the back of the boat. And at the marina, that's been putting the batteries into float mode every day this month. So, but the boat's in a fixed position, ideally positioned for the sun, uh, for the panels. And I just installed two more panels, 100 watts each, on the Dodger. So they will run on their own controllers. The three at the back are connected so they give a high voltage for charging. And the next two 100 watt panels, they'll have their own controllers because one will often be shaded by the mizzen mast and that way it won't impact the other one uh, if one's being shaded. So I haven't actually wired them up yet, but I will uh, do that soon. But even with just the 300 watts on the back, we're getting uh, full charges. Now, being out on anchor or on a mooring ball, that may be different because the boat's not always positioned perfectly. So we'll see what happens today. And uh, yeah, and I'll show you guys what that looks like when I get back to the boat. Anyways, go back, get breakfast, and uh, see what I get up to today. Well, here's our three panels on the back. You can see that they're on this bracket system here that was for a dinghy, but we've never used it for that. And uh, so I reinstalled the, the arms and put those three panels. That's the 300 watts. Uh, I believe it's in series is what you call it, where you get the high voltage. Well, here is a view of the all the panels, actually. You can see that there's a, a panel on each side of the Dodger. Those aren't hooked up yet, but they will be soon. And they're going to run on their own independent uh, controllers, so that if one is shaded, as you can see, the one on the right-hand side of the screen is shaded by the mizzen mast. So the one on the left-hand side won't be affected by it if they have their own controllers. 
and then you can see right at the very back of the boat you can see the panels that are on our uh, davit system which we don't really use for the dinghy but they worked out great for using it for a platform uh, for panels. So for the panels on the Dodger I had to figure out a way to mount them and you can see these little posts here those are, I'll show you the bottom side of them in a second, but they're from Gemini and are made by Gemini, is the manufacturer. And then I just made these little uh, pieces of like a mounting bracket out of starboard, which is super strong and durable. And they just, so they're bolted underneath the frame here and then uh, to the frame, and then they just stick out a little bit, and then the rest of it is mounted to the actual uh, Gemini mount. And I just had to cut a small little hole through the canvas material. I put these little covers on. They're just uh, two-sided Gorilla Tape, but which just to help protect uh, that little cut that I made. And there's been no leaks with all the rain we've had. And these mounts worked out really well. And that's what that mount looks like on the underside. It just clamps on and it's got an Allen key uh, bolt on the other side there. I'm not sure. Yeah, there you can see it. And they just uh, bolt or mount right to the frame. Well, there was a little look at our solar panel array on the boat. I started that in October after Devlin and I did the trip to Desolation Sound, we realized we really needed uh, some way to collect energy while we're at anchor because about after day three we have to move with no other way to charge the batteries other than the engine. Our house bank's made up of four 8D batteries which give us almost 1200 amp hours so it's a large house bank each battery weighs 176 pounds, so they're, I know that because I put them in the boat when we first bought it, and had to haul the old ones out and put the new ones in, so that was not easy. But we also got rid of our electric toilet, because every time we flush that thing, <laughs> we're draining the batteries. So we got rid of that, we have a manual toilet again, and yeah, trying to keep things simple on the boat. and. Make it uh, off-grid ready. Well, it's the end of the day already. <laughs> I don't know where the day went. <laughs> Beautiful here. I think it was 18 degrees Celsius today. But, uh, still the middle of March. Did a few little varnishing touch-ups and another coat of varnish on the companionway doors. I'm just working on the outside. The inside of the doors is done and now I'm doing the outside of the doors. Oh, I checked the Victron app and we harvested over a kilowatt of power today, which is crazy. So the batteries went into float mode. I can't remember what time that was, but in the afternoon. They went to absorption and then float. But, uh, yeah, crazy. Uh, just those three panels on the back gave us a kilowatt, over a kilowatt. Oh, and I paid the parks guy. It's $14 a night on the mooring, uh, no matter what size boat you are. And a couple new boats in here, a couple of the same ones. So I think the park will start getting a lot of use after weather like today.
Well, good morning from Montague Harbor. <laughs> it's pretty early, before 8. And uh, the sun's already hot. So just out getting a few shots and thinking about the day ahead, what I'm going to do. And uh, yeah, it was a calm night again. A couple more boats came in late in the day. So feels like cruising season is just around the corner. Well, I've left the harbour and I could feel a little bit of breeze, not much, so I thought well, I may as well shake out the main and the mizzen and I'll try to get the Yankee and the staysail out today too. I won't be doing much for speed because it's pretty light wind coming out of the northwest, so I'll be going upwind sail. But I thought, uh, yeah, good excuse to shake out the sails and make sure they look okay after sitting for a while. Um, yeah, it's about 20, almost 21 miles to get home. It'll be a bit more if I'm tacking upwind, but I'm not in a big hurry. And yeah, I've decided to head back. Tomorrow's supposed to turn a little for the weather. The sun feels amazing, but that wind sure is <laughs> chilly still. It's only the middle of March, so I guess uh, that's why, but yeah, I just motored out. I, I set the main and the mizzen up before I was even untied. So I just uh, hoisted them. Just when you're by yourself, it's uh, <laughs> a lot to do when you're trying to leave a harbor, get your sails up, steer the boat, um, dodge other boats, you know, all those things. And it's a bit narrow coming out of the pass there. But, uh, yeah, not as much wind as I'm hoping, but I'll, I'll probably put all the sails up anyways at, once I get a little bit further out. There's a reef on my left and an island on my right, so I've got to get into a little bit more open water and a little bit, like, there's not much of a ripple on the water now. So I'll just motor slowly and see what happens. Well, I've got all the sails up and not going too fast, about uh, two knots is what I'm doing right now. So at this speed it should take me over 11 hours to get home, which is normally like three and a half, but I'll, I'll keep them up for a while and I just checked the forecast. It doesn't look promising for stronger winds, but it's 
kind of nice just to shake them all out and in such a light wind this is a really heavy boat uh, you know I can still do two knots up wind there's not much happening here but it's uh, a nice day and I'm not in a big hurry Well, the wind didn't last too long and <laughs> it was pretty light, so I ended up uh, rolling up the two head sails. And uh, yeah, it's just been more and more calm. The, the water is like glass right now. So just motoring back, just passing Princess Cove on my left. Uh, that's where I went the last two trips and stayed there. That'll get busy as the days get nicer and we get closer to cruising season.